Westmead Children's Hospital put a paper out about 18 months ago that said that um, they studied eight cases of near drownings or drowning incidences from backyard pools. They could prove that in four cases where the carer or the parent of the child did nothing and waited for an ambulance, in all four cases the child died. In the other four cases where the parent or carer attempted CPR, then all four of those children survived. So our message is that if you have the basic skills and you do something in an emergency, then there's a good chance you'll save the person's life. Royal Life Saving nationally, but certainly in New South Wales, uh, runs programs every day. We have programs from basic swim and survive skills uh, through to rescue, water rescue skills and advanced levels. Um, we have basic resuscitation through to first aid training and at every one of those levels we could train somebody that would be a community lifesaver. So Royal Life's job through education is to train people to basically be those community lifesavers so that if their child or a friend's child gets into a difficulty in their backyard swimming pool, then they're going to know what to do. If they're down by the river and there's a rock, uh, sorry, a fisherman that might slip in, somebody boating that might get themselves into difficulty, then that person that's trained by Royal Lifesaving will know what to do.